What's up guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Maria, but my friends call me Maria for short. Welcome back to another study vlog. We have been learning Korean for six months, which is kind of fucking cool because now I can actually hold like little conversations and introduce myself. There's a video I made on my channel a while back I just lost the ring. There's a video that I made on my channel a while back and it was how I study Korean. I'll put it up here if you guys wanna go watch it. Probably like my three month update in all the apps that I was using at the time, which is quite different from a lot of the apps that I'm now using. I think it's about time that I update you guys on my progress and what I'm learning so far. So in this video, we will be studying Korean, Spanish, and Japanese because yes, if you've been here for that long, you know that I started learning Japanese in January, but it doesn't mean that I know anything about Japanese they still have me learning like um, the alphabet but I have high hopes it says YouTube filming which just means that at this point in time I'm supposed to be filming a YouTube video which I am but I'm also studying this is basically what my phone oh sorry let me back up I don't know why I'm so close this is what my phone looks like in YouTube filming mode but I'm going to put her in Hangugo which is Korean, Korean language. And now my phone is completely in Korean mode and I also have a picture of Korea as the background so that I know I am studying Korean at this specific time. And I will show you guys how to make one of those. In my settings and I am going to go to focus. And you can see all the focuses that I have. We're gonna make a new one. I'm going to custom and I'm going to pick, we're going to do this for Japanese because I don't have a Japanese one yet. I have Japanese as blue. Um, in my studying, I'm going to put the little cap and I'm going to put Japanese. Japanese because I don't have a Japanese keyboard yet. So did I spell Japanese right? It feels like it's wrong. We're going to customize the focus and I'm going to choose notifications only from the people in my life that are important. Um, I'm going to change allow calls to allow. And then I'm going to choose the apps that I want to send me notifications. I'm going to turn everything off for this except for YouSpeak because YouSpeak is what I'm using on my phone to learn Japanese. Okay, and then I'm just going to choose a lock screen and I'm going to save it as my home screen. Set as wallpaper and pair. And my home screen will just be this one. Done. And that should be everything. I can also set a time, like a schedule. I'm not gonna do that for this one because I normally don't have a consistent schedule when I study Japanese. And if I turn off Korean and I go to Japanese instead, you can see that when I'm learning Japanese that my home screen is now in the Japanese focus that I just made. And I will show you my Spanish focus as well. Because I love this one. This one is super pretty. Um, so if you have an iPhone, I highly recommend it. If you don't...
video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below what you would like to see from me next. I will leave all of my social medias at the bottom of the screen so you can go and follow me. If you haven't already, please, please, please join our Discord. We are 600 girly strong. If you want to study Korean, get some K-drama recommendations, watch movies together, play games together, any of those things, feel free to join the Discord. It is free for everybody and it doesn't matter how old you are, what country you're from. Everybody there is from all walks of life, so I hope you do join. I hope you guys have a beautiful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, girlies. Besitos.